Alrighty, Pisces, so this is going to be your reading for February 18th through the 25th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And also, if you'd like to get a personal reading, all of my information will be in the description box as well as my information for my other channels, my Patreon, anything of that sort. So if you'd like to check that out, that will be there. My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com where you guys can go ahead and book your sessions as well. So let's get straight into the reading, guys. This is general. It's going to resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. So what's going on for February 18th through the 25th, please? Whoa. I'm taking whatever falls out. Very 18 through 25. All right. So getting into this, um, I really feel like you Pisces may be having this this issue, right? Um, you may be feeling like kind of trapped here to a situation or. Like a situation that you thought was going to make you feel a lot freer made you feel just the opposite for some reason, okay? Um, this could be like you, again, it's going to be different for everyone, so I'm not going to try to pinpoint what the energy is, but yeah, I'm feeling like you guys are feeling very trapped for some reason, all right? There may be like some issues in conversations this week, so I'll be very aware of the way that you communicate and also how com how people are communicating with you as well because I feel like there's going to be some sort of issues with conversations that you try to have this week but I feel as if you guys are like You guys are trying to get control over yourself and your emotions when it comes to everything that you have going on here. Like you may be energetically feeling down, but still like pushing forward, still trying to move forward. All right. And for some of you guys, like your spirituality is going to be one way to kind of help you. So I would definitely... Um, Make sure that you're doing that this week because some, some of you guys may be not like fully engaging into some spiritual practices or maybe religious practices, whatever you may be to help you. So if you are feeling down, like I said, make sure you are like meditating or keeping some crystals beside you or reading the Bible if that's something that you're into, but making sure that you guys are using your spirituality or keeping your spirituality close to you to help uplift your spirits. cards for your spiritual guidance we have Pallades it says double mission channeling and uplifting humanity and then we have unbound it says releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives and the ever unfolding roses at the bottom of the deck I feel like everybody's been having this card in their readings for some reason but it makes sense for the energy but what I am seeing for you guys spiritually, I feel as if you guys do need to understand that you guys are doing like a double mission. Whatever you guys do, maybe for work, uh, maybe you're like a spiritual healer as well, or just energetically what you do for people around you is like a double mission, okay? You're channeling information, you're bringing new energy, new information on this plane, or not new information, but channeling insights from people before you okay like channeling information from the akashic records and using it to kind of uplift humanity so some of you guys are like public speakers some of you guys like i said are energy healers or you are very good at it some of you guys are very good at it 
Um, and you're being probably called to do that, like as a life purpose, some of you guys, for others of you, this is like you guys having this power, but not really knowing it. All right. But this week, I feel like you guys are going to be pushed into that energy of really releasing things that don't fit in alignment with who you are anymore. Okay, whether this is like soul patterns, like things that you constantly keep doing in every lifetime, that's just not good for you. Or like soul contracts with people who are, again, not good for you, or they were supposed to teach you some sort of lesson and they're no longer needed. Or past life energy. So make sure you are releasing yourself from situation, places, or things that are not in alignment anymore, okay? And I feel like I've been having to say this for a lot of signs this year, but it's something I'm going to keep repeating because it's something that somebody's obviously not getting. All right, so the energy surrounding my Pisces love life for February 18th through the 25th, the guidance for my Pisces for this week, and the feelings that my Pisces cross watcher partner or person in question are feeling for them. All right, cool. So the energy surrounding your connections overall, we do have stay optimistic about your love life at the bottom of the deck. So when it comes to your love life, I feel as if you guys do need to make sure that you're thinking positive when it comes to the circumstances of what you may be dealing with and understanding that only... The only way for you to get growth or for you to get balance within your connection is for you to be open to putting into the connection still. If you're still closed off, it's going to be an issue for you guys to get growth because you're not giving to the connection anymore. So make sure you are staying optimistic and some of you guys may be getting to know someone new here with the getting to know each other and it is safe for you to love cards coming out here for the energy as well. So you may be dealing with somebody new or this may be somebody who you already know, but you may be getting to know this person on a deeper level to see whether or not you can trust this person. And what I am seeing for the guidance, I do have reconciliation. I do have trust. So if you are going to be reconciling with someone this week, make sure that you're in a position to trust this person and that this person's in a position to trust you. Because if there is trust issues, that's just going to cause, again, some issues in the future. So make sure that you guys both trust each other or that you guys both have an understanding of what's going on here. And what I am seeing for the cross watchers feelings for you, we do have passion and let go of control issues. So I feel like this person is definitely passionate about you. They just want to make sure that you're allowing the connection to kind of unfold naturally. Um, especially if you are like extremely guarded or not letting them kind of prove their stance to you. But this person is definitely wanting you to let up. So make sure you guys are letting the situation unfold naturally. All right, this week's energy for my Pisces, last week's energy for my Pisces, the guidance, the focus for this week, and the outcome. All right, so I feel like you guys are having to emotionally confront some things this week as far as like what you're just not happy about or maybe expressing how you feel to some people as well all right this may be with a cancer pisces scorpio or maybe a capricorn or again some situation where you may be feeling tied to it in a very toxic sense and you're needing to really confront your fears or what's underlying within this connection or within yourself all right but what I am seeing for this week, I do have the King of Wands. Clarifying the King of Wands, we do have the Three of Cups. So you may be reconciling here with a fire sign. This looks like an Aries for some of you guys. Strong Aries energy, just strong fire energy, period. But you could be reconciling with somebody who you're passionate about overall. For others of you, this is not even a reconciliation. You could be dealing with somebody who you're passionate about. And there may be other people connected to it here with the Three of Cups energy. Yeah. 
and the five of swords. So you may be having to walk away from some dishonest associations, especially if you are dealing with someone who is cheating. For others of you, this could be you guys reconciling with the fire sign, like I said. But having to walk away, maybe because of the fact that there may have been mind games or some dishonest communication as well. But what I am seeing for the past, we do have the full card. Clarifying the full card, we do have the Queen of Swords. So I really feel like you guys were wanting to take a, a chance on a new beginning or a new direction here. Like I said, this could have been with an Aries or an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be any of those signs. But wanting to take a new direction here and needing to cut some things out of your life first before you do that. Um, because you may have been heartbroken or you may have been like wanting to go in a new direction with someone, but they may have been very closed off, like detached and you may feel, or you may have felt a sense of heartbreak and had to walk away because you didn't feel like you got what you deserved emotionally. But what I am seeing for the guidance for you this week, we do have the tower clarified by the moon card. So you guys are needing to look at situations, circumstances, relationships that you have with the outside world and people, whatever, and looking at where it's unstable and where, you know, you may be left in the dark on some things, okay? Especially if this is your relationship, uh, maybe your work situation, um, whatever is not stable here, I feel like you guys are having to kind of confront that and not be in a, a space of fear, because you could save a lot of issues from happening. All right. And some of you guys do need to look at where you're still focusing on what's not working and not what you still have left or what the universe has behind you. But the focus for this week, guys, we do have the seven of swords clarifying that we do have the full card. So you guys may be avoiding some sort of new beginning here, or you guys may be avoiding an Aries, or you may be dealing with an Aries who's cheating, or you guys may be, yeah, some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's sneaky, or you guys may be being sneaky to this person, all right? But I feel as if you guys do need to make sure that you're making some moves this week about what makes you happy when it comes to your foundation, all right? And turning your back on any third-party situations, especially if that is something that's going on in your love life. And for the outcome, guys, we do have the King of Pentacles energy. So clarifying the King of Pentacles, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys are going to be financially grounded, okay? That's definitely not going to be an issue here. You guys are definitely going to be financially put. Um, also, with your connections, I feel as if you guys are going to have the opportunity to get stable energy within it. But you guys need to deal with these toxic behaviors, toxic thinking patterns, whatever it may be. Because the devil card just ruined the whole reading or the ending of the reading. Um, also, this could be like addictions as well. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher, their feelings for you. What is my Pisces cross watcher partner person in question? Feelings for them for February 18th through the 25th. Pisces cross watcher partner person in questions feelings for them for this week. So I really feel like this person does want to turn their back on any third party situations that were taking place within the relationship. They're also trying to remain hopeful for what's going to be taking place in the future. I feel like they do want to focus on the future and not really focusing on whatever happened in the past especially with you guys going like through a transition phase within your relationship but right now I feel like this week they are going to be taking time to make some head over heart decisions about this connection with you and they may be taking the stance of being or wanting to be single to figure things out as well all right, because I feel like they do want to move slowly to build the relationship or maybe to repair if this is a reconciliation, but they're going to have to go within about, okay, what exactly happened in the past? 
What does this connection mean to them? All of that stuff, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for my Pisces for this week. I hope that I was able to provide some sort of guidance or understanding. Again, if you did like this reading, make sure you like this video and comment below and book your own appointment if you'd like to, okay? My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com and I will see you beautiful Pisces in your next reading. Bye guys.